You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to Your Business with Faith. Do you find yourself struggling with your business due to self-doubt, lack of confidence, and without a support team? Christian life coach Gina Sanasardo is here to help. Gina will allow faith to spread throughout your life, including your business. So now, please welcome the host of Your Business with Faith, Gina Sanasardo. everybody. This is your host, Gina, with your Business with Faith, and we are live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back, everybody. So glad you're here. Um, we have been talking about uh, faith literally working and coming to life in our businesses and our ministries, everyday life. Um, and last week, we had a special guest appearance with Dr. Mary Amori from Maze Lake Ministries, talk about faith in her life. Personally, what drew her to become the executive director of Maze Lake Ministries and all the wonderful services they provide for the Chicagoland area. So really excited about that. Uh, wanted to also make sure we caught up on our five-part uh, series, if you will, to the Five Paths to Powerful Profits. And we had been kind of, let me recap a little bit. Originally, we started out with believing in God's abundance, and we talked about our mindset and defining what success looked like, and really looking at our worth and limiting beliefs, and uh, really setting the stage to be able to acquire and be open and receiving to God's abundance for us, and what that really looks like. Uh, the next one we had talked about was being able to plan for profit. So kind of uh, the law of attraction we talked about a little bit, um, not just planning for profit and vision, but really believing that they had peace and profit can actually be both yours. It could be intertwined by bringing your faith alive in your business and having a plan, kind of a crystal clear plan around that vision, kind of step by step. And we talked about smart goals and making sure they were measurable and specific and obtainable and how you could be uh, accountable to all those steps. So the third path we looked at was having peace in God and knowing that that was a big key to obtaining profit in our business because we're really being open to his work in our lives and really being able to enjoy the process of owning a business, working smarter, not harder, seeing obstacles more as opportunities and really being able to show up as the best version of ourselves, which essentially attracts people to us and we're really living out our passion. And because of that, we're successful. So the fourth one, which is where we had left off, was not going it alone. Uh, understanding that God gives us people in our lives that we meet, so where we can work with other people, whether they're mentors, masterminds, group coaching, one-on-one -on -one business coaching, or even just a one-on-one -on -one, uh, life coach, really, to help you through all the ins and outs of a business. Uh, having collaboration or joint ventures with other companies or business people of like mind, um, and really just having someone that you can kind of bounce some ideas off of, too. So, Today, what we're going to be talking about is the fifth point, which is claiming and living out your God-given mission, driven brand and identity. And a lot of this really has to do with who you are, who God made you to be and intended you to be, even in your business. And I know the very first show I had was a lot about my personal uh, history, how I got into faith, what faith really means to me in my life, um, how I've seen God work in my life. And I talked about my uh, special miracles with the rose from St. Therese. And because of that, uh, I was able to 
really kind of derive special meaning with this particular brand so that when people thought of the rose, they would think of me. Not because the rose is beautiful, although it is, rather the rose symbolizes, to me at least, faith and miracles and knowing that God is in action, knowing that we have uh, friends, even up in heaven, that are speaking up on our behalf. So... Um, really important. And we're going to really talk about that. We're going to kind of dig deep. And I know I told you, I didn't want to go too much into it in our last shows. I kept wanting to sneak up on me and I really wanted to save it for today. And uh, so many things that I've been watching and listening and learning about brand is something that really uh, clicks something that's special with you shows your why your story, um, really what kind of drives you to your passion and your purpose. Um, and so it's, I'm really excited to talk about that, and especially for some of you that weren't able to hear the first show, you'll hear a little bit about that again, because branding is really showing who you are. It has a lot to do with your identity, purpose, and passion, so I'm very excited to talk about that as well. We have some wonderful guests coming our way in the next couple episodes. We have Russ Terry. He's the number one New York bestselling author of numerous gratitude books, a phenomenal life coach. She's all about gratitude. He's actually doing one with children to see how that kind of reframes their life and their perspectives. I'm a little biased because my daughter's going to be in one of those uh, books. So I'm super excited about that, too. Really seeing a change with her perception kind of talking about the law of attraction again. Um, and he's also the uh, founder of Life Coach Radio Networks, um, which is a podcast, uh, great uh, platform for coaches, talking about a variety of things. So I was uh, lucky and honored to be a part of that for some time too, before the BBM Global Network. Um, and then we're also going to have LD uh, Seville, which is another wonderful life coach, uh, just phenomenal lady about empowerment and healing and coaches people that have depression and self-care needs. So we're looking forward to her. And the next couple shows after that, we're going to be kind of having a, a variety of people on our shows, um, perhaps two or three in one show, uh, talking about how faith really shows up for them in their business. So that's really fantastic. It's amazing how many people are taking interest in these shows. Um, and I'm just so excited and honored that they want to be a part of this and share how their faith shows up for them in their business. And you've heard me say before, it's not about being pre your teachy. It's about showing up as the best version of yourself. In fact, we talked about that with Dr. Miriam Mori last week, that it's not about teaching scripture and doctrine, but it's really just, you know, kind of evangelizing and that you show more with your actions and the way you treat people versus what's kind of coming out of your mouth. So it's really important to show how you can be a person of faith, but how you're tolerant, understanding, listening without judgments um, and wanting fresh starts and helping people reach their fullest potential, too. So I'm really excited that so many people want to be a part of this. This is just wonderful for me. Uh, it's been uh, personally kind of mind blowing to see how many people are so receptive to uniting faith with business and bringing uh, faith into corporate corporate businesses as well. It's just amazing. Um one of the quotes I think I had read to you guys a while ago uh, was about how there were studies done. It was like a Harvard study that they had done, and they were able to f find that entrepreneurs that were really successful prayed more, had a relationship with God, defined success in a way that really served them. They were really successful, and they were happy, and it was great to see how faith was in the mix with their success. So uh, very uh, excited about all that's coming with our show. And and many more to come. I'm going to be talking about challenges and opportunities because it's something that we talked about in having God's peace within us, kind of recognizing how to reshape our mindset, which kind of ties back into point one and also planning a vision and what happens when things get in the way of our vision or so we think they get in a way they could really be learning experiences, understanding that it's hard to see obstacles as opportunities if you're doing it all on your own. And really being able to receive God's abundance when you see things as opportunities. So we're going to be talking about that. Um, I'm going to actually have a second part to gratitude uh, because I have my own ideas about gratitude. And I'll want to add on to Russ's and I should say compliment rather add on um, what he has to say is phenomenal. And I can't wait for you guys to hear what he has to do and shares his uh, wealth of wisdom with us. 
Um, and then another show that I'd like to kind of uh, just have you guys highlight also is talking a little bit about the Beatitudes. Actually, if you're familiar with what that is or not, the eight Beatitudes, we find it in uh, the book of Matthew um, and how that relates to business, which would seem kind of crazy to think that. Um, but it's uh, amazing <laughs> how uh, that can really come up. So I'm also super excited about that as well. Um so uh, very exciting things coming up. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit, of, too, about my uh, new kind of launching, if you will, about family coaching. I uh, mentioned it a little bit with Dr. Mary Amori. We're going to be talking about that a little bit more, too, and how faith uh, comes into our, our lives, how business affects home, home affects business, and vice versa. So we're going to go ahead and dig into this uh, fifth point about our branding in our uh, next segment. So I'm going to ask you to stay with us. This is your host, Gina, with your Business with Faith, and we're live on the BBM Global Network and tune in radio. The earliest human societies worshipped a female goddess. Little is known about this time because we did not always have a written recorded history. It was around 3100 BC when the Sumerians invented the first written language and everything that preceded this time is prehistory. The prehistorical record includes all of women's unwritten history from 30,000 B.C. to the time that men began achieving political power around 3,000 B.C. Male feminist artist Kimberly Berg maintains a strong position in educating and inspiring both men and women through his devotional art to the goddess in all women. Studying their history is paramount to understanding who women were and who they would become later living in a patriarchal society. To learn more about this important time in our history, go to www.isisrising.net. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Hi, everybody. This is your host, Gina, and you're listening to Your Business with Faith. And we are live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Thanks for coming back. We are talking about branding right now and what that really looks like when we have faith in the mix of that. And we think about how our identity has to do with uh, how God made us, our purpose. Uh, So really super excited to talk about that. Um, I actually wanted to correct myself in pronouncing one of my guests that will be coming up, Elda Silva. I didn't pronounce her name right. Uh, She didn't correct me or anything. I just noted that myself, and I wanted to just uh, publicly correct myself and apologize for that as well. So nonetheless, now that I said that, I'd like to go ahead and move on. Um, So, you know, God gives us this particular unique design and purpose. We were made for that. So let's live it out. This doesn't just mean in our life, but in our businesses, too, because think about it. You know, all the careers and gifts and talents that we have ultimately is meant to show in what we do. And think about how fulfilling it would be to live out God's given mission for you. So there's a a scripture from Proverbs 16, 9. It says, we can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. And I love that because some people might look at that and go, well, I want to be able to control everything. I see that and I, oh, I kind of relieved. I take a sigh of relief because although God sets within my heart this plan, I probably, and I could tell you for sure, don't always know what I'm doing. And the fact that God can determine our steps, kind of light the path by our feet, really allows me some freedom. It allows me to just relax and see how things unfold, causes me way less stress and anxiety and worry and all that time-wasting energy. So it's really interesting to see what it is that God had made for us 
And what's kind of cool, too, is that sometimes it changes through the course of our life as well. You know, we think we're doing one thing and then all of a sudden God's kind of ready for us to do something else. So it's cool to see how it kind of shifts and turns in our lives. So a unique design and purpose he created. And this means even for our business. So the thing is this, you know, you might be wondering if the people you serve can really see you for the wonderful person you are, you know, and think about it. Are you think of first of all, what are your gifts and are you using them? Are you standing out to be different? You know, so really think about how you can kind of claim this particular mission, step into this God ordained brand and identity, because when your identity and your position have the power of purpose behind it, you really stand out. Not much effort's required. Just be yourself and show up. And your ideal clients are attracted to you because of that. Uh, There's another quote here uh, by Catherine Sienna. She's a saint. Um, Be who God meant you to be and you will set the world on fire. Pretty profound. Uh, Just I I look at that and it just kind of gives me the chills because it really allows me to be me. I don't have to be anyone else. I don't have to impress anybody. I'm going to be exactly who God made me to be. And sometimes we feel it in our gut and we know what we are meant to do. Sometimes we're lucky enough to know when we're little, like, oh, I want to be a doctor or I want to be this or that. And and that sticks with you. Some of us kind of have to search and figure it out, or at least we think we know what we're doing. And maybe 15 years later, something else comes up. So you guys have to really think about how much you believe that your identity and mission are kind of interwoven and will actually drive your business to success. And think about what it might feel like to claim that and step into it because it's rightfully yours, right? You know, you hear things about the world waiting for you and your talents. Share what you have, right? So think about how knowing that God has already created this plan. You hear me say this all the time. I'm like a broken record, right? From point A to point B. And he's got this mission and this purpose and it's driving your passion and you're stepping into your confidence zone. How does this increase your esteem, your faith? And then in turn, what do you think it's going to do for your business? Right? So think about that. You know, often in our businesses, and uh, so many that I've interacted with and actually talked to and a lot of the ones that I've worked with feel like they're chasing clients. That's like a constant battle. You know, I know what to do. I, I, whether it's a health consultant or someone that does beauty consultants or health and wellness or business coach, life coach, finances. Oh gosh, there's so many things, so many different types of entrepreneurs. And often the biggest is the struggle to get the leads. And often then they become overwhelmed with fear and anxiety, right? We've talked about that. So When I've talked to some women that really are successful, some of the key things are not denying God the privilege of making his plan come alive, right? By really allowing him to position you as the expert he knows you are. And we've talked about this before, about the mindset that redefining what it means to be an expert in your field, because obviously you wouldn't be doing this if you weren't an expert. And no, you may not have 20 doctorate degrees and that's fine because it comes from the heart. It really comes from your soul, your experiences, your story. Stories are so powerful, you know, and don't be held back by those assumptions that you have or these belief systems that are really kind of pushing you in the wrong direction and are making you think about who you are, who you should be, how you should act or show up in your business. So don't allow those things to dominate or navigate your path to get you to point B, you know, so think about it. What makes you special and unique? Think about your gifts and your talents and your traits. You know, give yourself some time to really dig deep and see your God-given mission. Think about your branding. What images, visual things or words or icons really stand out to you? Maybe talents even. Think about how you could relate that to your business. You know, think about the true value of the service you offer so that others see you as the solution to their problems. Right. So we really want to think about your niche. You hear people say that a lot, right? Your niche, you can pronounce it either way. And think about how God's really created that for you. He's actually giving you that power. He's like giving you that authority to help people. And when you do that, that's when it becomes effortless. Right. And when people see that you have this confidence and it's just oozing out of you, 
this is totally when clients say, gosh, this person knows what they're doing. I need them because something is going on in my life. Life, and I need that solution. And what's beautiful, and I've said this before, is that God sends them to you because this is also a part of his plan, right? We're not just manifesting your plan, but everybody's. And we're all interwoven, right? And his master plan comes through all of us. It sounds easy, right? Well, we're going to talk about that in our next segment. So please don't... Uh, Tune away. Stay with us. This is your host, Gina, with your business with faith. And we are live on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Essential Nutrients LLC is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the catalyst to the realization of your dreams by making them a reality. Based in Quebec, Canada, Joanne is also a space coach using social media and Skype to work with anyone anywhere around the world. Contact Joanne Charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca 819-360-3266. Now is your time. Hey, everybody, this is Gina, your host with Your Business with Faith, and we are live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, For those of you that's joining, we are talking about branding and what that means and that it's more than just advertising and marketing, but it's got to come from the soul, who you are, your story relating to your mission, God's unique creation and purpose for you and how it's driven by your passion, your purpose and your why and your story. Um, And so we were talking about what it means to really have clients see that in you. And when they see your branding and your icon or your gift or your talents, they know that they're going to think about you because that's you. That's who you are. And so a lot of people that know me, when they see the rose, they know exactly why I chose the rose. So uh, really quick, um, before talking about really allowing God's master plan to come to life, uh, which... I guess kind of relates to what I'm about to say. I want to kind of just remind you all uh, my brand and why I chose it. So my branding is uh, very personal to me. It has to do with faith. It has to do with believing that God is at the core of every part of my life, whether it's business, personal, finances, relationship, everything, you name it. I believe he's at the core of it, you know, a thickly interwoven thread in my life. And, um, one of the things that I had chosen was the rose. And the reason I chose the rose was because of my uh, saint, St. Teresa of Lisieux. So I'm I'm Catholic and a part of uh, my religion is I get confirmed at some point in my life and I have to choose a patron saint that I kind of look up to as a friend, uh, an advocate really just to, it's a great idea to think I have a friend up in heaven um, that's uh, kind of there for me. So if anyone knows the story of St. Therese, uh, she's also called the little flower and her story is profound. Um, but really quickly, one of the things that she's known for is her great and deep and childlike love for God and for Jesus. And she died at a young age. Um, and a part of her mission was to actually continue spreading good and God's message and love even after she died. 
not just ending at her death. She wanted to continue that as a part of her role in heaven. And so a part of the novena is that you you pray with faith to God, and she kind of helps intervene and put in a good word, if you will, and uh, sends a rose with a message of love from God. And uh, twice I had, well, many times, but two really significant instances um, happened to me. Um, and I, I don't want to give them too much away. They're on my website. If you, uh, that's www.findinggodspeace.com. If you click on the rose where it says miracles, you'll be able to read my story. Uh, but one of them had to do with my father dying um, and my son being born. And one of my, my favorite stories about my son is we tried uh, for about seven or so years to have him. We were told we could, maybe couldn't have him. Um, and all the while had faith at the core um, in all my uh, pain and suffering. And um, I received a rose uh, after having said the novena and uh, found out I was pregnant. So uh, just can you give you a little bit of a tidbit there. Like I said, you could get the full story um, for both people in my life on my website. That's findinggodspeace.com. Um, so for me, the rose is just a instrumental tool of God's love for me. Um, and I, people that know me, just about everyone that knows me knows that the rose is very special. Uh, so it's no wonder that I chose it as my brand. In fact, a lot of people kind of laughed about that. They're like, well, of course, what else would you pick? Uh, that represents uh, God's love, uh, my faith in him, and really believing that faith is all around us. And so many times we hear in the Bible about how faith saves us. So... Um, it's definitely something that drew, really drove my brand, my purpose, my mission, and then ideally reminding me about how important it is to have faith in God's plan for us, that it cannot be my agenda, which is what I learned with my son. It's got to be God's. And that's so applicable to our businesses as well. You know, we want to become overnight entrepreneurs and millionaires or whatever it is that we want. And when things don't give our way, we quit, we give up, we get mad at God, who knows, um, and that's not really what God intends for us. He wants us to hang in there and be patient and see what he wants for us. And that's when we really find out about God's abundance and love for us. And that's when we really are able to zero in on our success. And that's when our clients see us at our best because we're being the best version of ourselves. So oh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> um, but it's really important that you position yourself in such a way that people see you as a faithful person. Again, not because you're reciting scripture or doctrine, but because you're showing faith and patience, understanding in God's plan, and you're not giving up and you're able to keep moving forward. And that's what makes all the difference. And people see that about your brand or something that makes you unique. They're attracted to it because it's so personal to you. Let me talk about how business is not just one thing and life is another and faith is another. It's all interwoven. I mean, you're one person, right? You know, my heart works with my liver and my lungs. Like they're not separate entities. They all work together. So, you know, nowadays there's so much emphasis on kind of things that are holistic, like mind, body, spirit, right? It's not separate. They all work together and there's real scientific proof, right? You know, what's going on in our head affects your body and vice versa. So, it's like that with our faith and uh, different parts of our body. So in our business as well and uh, every area of our life. So, you know, the branding idea is kind of what gives you that wow factor because you stand out. Your particular tribe is attracted to you because of that. And the thing with any business is that you can't necessarily serve everybody. Not everyone's going to be interested and that's okay. You know, uh, God made billions of types of flowers and they're all different and beautiful for a reason. Just like he gave us all particular plans and purposes for a reason to help other people that need our help. So when you're really owning God's plan, you live it out. You're actively and joyfully and passionately showing up as the best version of yourself. And really ultimately what happens, you enjoy what you do and more people want to be around you. It's the process that comes through through and people are attracted to that. So, you know, one of the things I think that people really struggle with, because we talked about letting his plan come together, it sounds easy, but sometimes it could be hard. You know, we're not always sure of what makes you special or what you're really good at. Let's say it's sweet spot, you hear people say. You don't really have the time to stop and look at yourself in the light that showcases your strengths, your gifts and your talents and what purpose from God you have. A lot of people don't really know their purpose, 
And it's nothing necessarily that's crazy or grandiose, but it's something that's intimate between you and God that you can discover. Sometimes you don't always dig deep into the value and quality you actually offer your audience and look at the true worth, right? What you're doing is you're helping people. People need it. So we got to think about how to get that out there in a way that attracts people. And that's with your branding. And then essentially, you may not totally be giving control to the one who created you, who has this plan for you and instilled it in your heart, right? His vision and purpose that gives you abundance like you've never known. So we're going to talk a little bit more about the solution, to some of these things that come up, uh, you know, really thinking about what makes you special, you know, how to use your gifts in your business, what worth do you really offer? So really, you know, take some stock into that there. Uh, and then I have some more uh, favorite scripture quotes too. I'd like to bring up with you, but I'd ask you to stay tuned with us as we continue to talk about branding. This is your host, Gina with your business with faith. And we're live on the BBM global network and tune in radio. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Hi, everybody. This is your host, Gina, and we are live on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio, and you're listening to Your Business with Faith. And we are talking about the fifth part of the faith-based prophets, about branding and claiming it and owning it and living it out in such a way that you attract clients because you're truly living passionately and purposefully the way God intended you to be. So we talked about um, that it, it seems... Pretty simple, right? You know, really letting God allow his plan to manifest and alive, come alive in you and the people that you work with and that he's literally going to be sending them to you because it all works together in his plan for our favor. And we talked about how well, that sounds easy. And then sometimes, well, maybe not necessarily so easy because sometimes we get in the way of our own success, right? We're not always sure about what makes us special or what we're good at. We don't have the time to really look at ourselves in a way that we think about our strengths, gifts, or talents. And often that's because we think we're bragging or that we shouldn't be thinking too highly of ourselves when really, you know, God gave us these gifts to share with others, not for us to just hoard or hide, right? So taking the time to do that, finding meaning with that, and really looking at God's purpose for us, and really looking at what it is that you're offering your audience and the value and the worth that comes with it, right? And totally letting God help you with this. Now, this was this uh, scripture I wanted to share with you. A lot of you probably know it. It's kind of a famous one from Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. Ah, oh, I love that one just really uh, settles in my bones and it really resonates me, resonates with me and stills my spirit and really allows me to feel safe in a place where I know God is guiding my steps. And so it allows me to think beyond what might be holding me back from success and how I can move forward. So some of those problems we talked about do actually have some solutions. So we talked about positioning yourself or branding yourself with the power of your purpose behind you and aligning yourself with the niche so that your values and worth is loud and clear, right? You're the expert. So think about this. You can have that wow factor where you stand out and people are attracted to you. You're owning God's plan. You're living it. We talked about that, right? Being active, joyful, and passionate about that. 
being the best version of ourselves, enjoying what you do. And then people are wanting to come to you. And I love this because really in theory, what you've done is you've surrendered to the ultimate coach, God, right? Our divine God. And so what's really cool too is that, you know, you hear people say he won't bring you to it unless he gets you through it. And what's amazing too is that he makes you perfect and has equipped you with everything you need to succeed because you believed, right? We hear your faith has saved you, right? Because we believed and we believe in God's plan that it's going to work out. And then so many people do. We have great success stories. That's what I'm so excited about our uh, audience members that we're going to have like I said, Dr. Mary Mori, she's living it out. We're going to have, gosh, maybe four or five more people, if not more, talking about how faith has been in their business and the success that they've had and the beauty of it, how it's interwoven. So it's uh, nothing I'm making up. This has been around, and uh, we're just out here to share it and see how it's coming to life for people. It's just a, a beautiful thing here. So, you know, think about what makes you unique even your business, but what about you personally or your role in your business? You know, everybody has different needs in their business and everyone's in a different place. We're all in different stages. We're all in different relationships with God and we all have different destinations, right? That he created for us. But what do you think your role is in your business? And what about it could you think of in terms of a gift or talent or maybe something even visual that you could use as a brand. And for some of you, it might be like, oh gosh, I totally know, or I've always known. And for some of you, you might have to really think and reflect on this. So I would ask you, maybe just to get the wheels turning, why is knowing your worth so important? Why might your clients be attracted to you after you know your worth? How could this make your business stronger and actually building it easier? How else could you feel ease knowing that God has everything under control? What would it be like to have clients seek you out instead of you chasing them? What might you lose if you don't start putting this notion to your, in practice right now? Could you put a dollar amount on that? Knowing this, what's the value of putting this pathway to freedom, peace, and profits to action? So it's definitely some food for thought, right? So really think about what you're offering your clients. What's your solution? What's unique about your business? Why would people want to come to you? Think about two things that are important to you. How can you incorporate that into your business? So you might think about priorities or values or maybe something special in your faith or your business. Or remember I said the big why, like why are you doing this? Is it something maybe for your family or your children? You know, how can you incorporate that into your business and your branding? And then think, how can this help increase the peace and freedom and the profits you want in your business? And then think, what can you do to get on that powerful path? What action steps can you actually take to make that real? So it's a, a lot to think about. You know, thinking about how you're special, how you're unique. But it's so important to know and to have trust and security. Knowing that he's got your back. He gives you strength to move forward. Take risks. That's the biggest limiting belief. People are afraid to take risks and actually believe in his plan for you and your business to come to life, right? Figuring out what kind of brand to get your audience to seek you because you've surrendered everything to God and he's made you perfect. And now you know how to help them, how to solve their problem. You're the solution they've been looking for. And really recognizing that it's, Important not to necessarily measure where you are, what's going on in your business to other businesses. Everybody else is in a different place. Everybody else has a different purpose. And it's not necessarily going to serve you to look at other people's businesses and make yourself feel horrible because you're not where they're at. Now, it's great to look at their businesses and think, gosh, what's working for them? That looks great. Or what kind of model are they using? And, you know, oh, those are some great ideas. 
when you do it in a way where you're allowing yourself to grow, that's perfect, right? That's your whole idea of using like mastermind, bouncing ideas, having a coach, support group. But when you do it in a way where you're tearing yourself up inside, then you need to stop that sort of catabolic energy and that catabolic way of thinking. Those are like old assumptions, limiting beliefs, inner voices and critics that are really deterring us away from God's plan versus seeing how God is showing us particular people or ways to help us grow towards his point B, I like to call it. So we've talked about this before. You know, what's the number one strategy to bring faith into your business? And uh, it's really important that we remember that, that it's not about being preachy or teachy. You're talking about scripture or doctrine, although it's okay if you quote scripture because there's some beautiful things in there, but being the best version of yourself. So we're going to kind of talk about this and recap some of the things we could do again to really claim that brand of ours. So stay tuned to our next segment. This is your host, Gina, with your business with faith. And we are live on the BBM Global Network and tune in radio. Patricia Fayeweather Harlow is passionate about the environment and conserving our natural resources. She's written a five-part book series for all ages called Rock with Rodney and Party with Perky to Preserve Wildlife, which brings awareness through these vibrant characters on preserving and protecting our national parks and historic landmarks. Harlow has launched a campaign to mobilize green supporters, informing a united front against big oil, big coal, and the Keystone XL pipeline. And she addresses the controversial practice of fracking in books four and five. She's determined to bring greater awareness to the dangers of drilling and running crude oil through pipelines that cut through pristine landscapes. And she empowers readers to take action in keeping America beautiful. To learn more about Patricia Fayweather Harlow and to purchase her books, visit www.patricia-fayweather-harlow.com. That's F-A-Y-E-R-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. And play your part in preserving the landscape that we all share and love. Hi, my name is Myra Fox, and I am a survivor. I am the founder of the Castle Lewis I Survived Foundation and the author of a series of books entitled I Survived a Murder Untold, which tells the story of my sister and I who were abandoned and left in the care of a woman who beat us repeatedly. Unfortunately, it resulted in the death of my sister, Castle Lewis, which is revealed in a page-to-page chilling story. After spending time in the foster care system, I've documented my suffering and my loss and ultimately my survival. I'm blessed to work daily in my community and surrounding areas to give back by helping others and feeding the homeless. I want to spread awareness of the dangers of abuse. You can purchase my books and contribute to the Castle Lewis I Survive Foundation by visiting www.castlelewis.com or you can call us at 540-999-8401. Thank you. Hi, everybody. This is your host, Gina, with your Business with Faith. And we are live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So thank you for staying with us. And if you've just joined us, we've been talking about branding and what that means uh, and the action that it actually requires on your end to claim it, to live it out, and to know what God's uh, mission and unique purpose is for you and how to... Uh, marry the ideas of your identity, your why, your story with your brand for your business, which ultimately leads to success because what you're doing is you're inspiring people because people love stories and connection. And when you show your faith in God in your why and what you're doing and that you enjoy it and you're passionate, people see that they see you as an expert and they want you to help them because they know you can because you've positioned yourself as an expert. So We've talked about some of the problems with this is that some people don't really know or take the time to think about who they are, what they do, what their purpose is, right? The value and the quality that they offer people. You can even dig into that really deep too and think about how you can brand uh, off of your value and the quality and the worth that you offer your audience in the problems that you solve. You know, thinking about who you are and why you're special. What's your sweet spot? What are you known for? What's your thing, right? And giving yourself the time to do that and it's okay. Hey, you're not bragging. You're not thinking too highly of yourself. You're actually really looking at the resources and gifts that God gave you. And it would be a shame to hide them or hoard them and not actually share them, which is why he gave them to you. So, um, we talked about bringing faith into your business and it's really just being the best version of yourself. Right. Uh, and we talked about the a great deal. 
it's really important to be organized and consistent and to have a support system. There's nothing wrong with that. We talked about that before. There's nothing wrong with having help and having people support you and guide you because sometimes we're just always in our head. And actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, if, you know, digging deep isn't working for you to think about what your gifts and talents are, ask some of your closest friends or family or coworker, the people that know you best, that are with you the best and see you the most. Most. They could probably tell you what some of your gifts are, what you're known for, what your thing is, you know, where your sweet spot is. Because sometimes we just don't want to admit it or we just can't see it. Or sometimes we think, well, that's more of a curse than a blessing. And people can really help provide you uh, great insight. Like, gosh, no, that's really something you're good at. Like you love to do. Or you have this great sense of humor. You're really down to earth. So having other people to help you. That's why masterminds or group coaching is a wonderful way to kind of help break those barriers, those old mindsets, limiting beliefs and old assumptions, even about ourselves that are holding us back in our own business. So, um, really important thing too, you know, is it really that easy to think about your branding for some it is, and for others, it's not, you know, for some people, like myself, I, I knew right away it had to be the rose. It was just, you know, something that was momentous to me. For other people, it's definitely something they need support on. And it's one of those things you really got to trust your gut. You really got to think about there might be this one thing that you just keep going back to. You know, my branding is this or I'm just really simple. I'm really clear cut or, you know, no, I'm I'm more, you know, innovative and modern or some people are maybe. Oh, I don't know. There's so many different styles. I mean, it's it's got to be something that you feel connects to you. You know, it's one thing to maybe hire a coach and then them tell you, well, do this. Uh, that works to some extent, but it's got to be something that feels right to you, too. I mean, they could probably give you some pointers and tips. I've had some great people working with me that are like, well, you shouldn't probably do this because it is still a business and it's marketing. And, you know, I can't have every color of the rainbow on my website, which I thought was beautiful. But, you know, business being um that's not necessarily the way to go either. And I could still focus on what my brand is without having, you know, a bag of Skittles on my website. So, you know, it's, it's okay to take constructive criticism, if you will, or feedback or professionalism and, um, advice from people that know what they're doing and have been doing it for a while. So there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, you know, you want to trust your gut and your instincts too, and say, no, this is really where I want to go. I just need to refine it and polish it. So, uh, you know, and really think about what it means to be the best version of yourself. You know, everybody's a leader, believe it or not. No one could ever just sit back in life and be passive. I mean, even in that way, you're taking the lead to make a choice to live that way. You know, and so as a leader, you make change happen. You share this vision and help others create their plans and reach their visions. And you empower people and inspire people. So think about how being with a group of people and implementing your skill and knowledge for their benefit is a part of God's purpose. You know, take that lead, take that initiative. And it's okay if right now, gosh, you know, I've been doing things I shouldn't. This has been a waste of my time, my money, my energy, my effort. I don't really know who I serve. I'm not really sure what value I have to offer. I have no plan set in place. I've got no strategies. I don't hold myself accountable. I set goals, but then I don't really make sure that they happen. I don't follow up. I don't really have an online presence. I don't really network or talk to people or find my audience. Um, I don't really have a mentor. So those are all some com common things and that's fine. The idea is recognizing where you're at and how you want to move forward, right? So, you know, stay stuck because you're too scared to invest in yourself. That's just not going to work. And so many people I talk to are just too afraid to take the leap and they try to do everything the free way, the easy way. And that might work a little bit. You know, it's, there's nothing wrong with taking part in programs that you can observe and, you know, really great, get some great insights, but eventually you're going to have to take that giant leap of faith and get with someone that knows really what they're doing and that can really help you build your online presence, help you establish your brand, get the, rid of those uh, mindsets and limiting beliefs that are holding you back and really set a plan and action to get from that point A to B and really see about how faith plays a role in your life. So it's okay to think, well, I, I want to try it on my own and that's fine. I, I think that that's fine. 
you have to, you know, see for yourself, maybe you can do it on your own, but if not, then that's when you kind of have to evaluate, you know, think about in a year from now is, has anything changed or how long have you even been working in your business? I have some people tell me that they had been struggling for years. Well, gosh, it's time to do something. That's a long time. That's a lot of energy, money. That's a lot of, oh my gosh, I can only imagine anxiety and fear and worry and self doubt. Why do that to yourself? So it's okay to take action and know that someone's there with you to do it. And for crying out loud, value what you do. Don't deny your people your service any longer. Go all in and be powerful. Be faith-filled and trust in God's abundance for you. Right? This time is for you about bringing faith in your business. And one of the things, like I said, I love having my guests on because we get to hear other people's success stories, which I love. Um, and I'm so excited for our other guests, our other guests rather, excuse me, to be talk about that and share that as well. Um, so super excited about that. So I'm going to ask you to stay with us as we uh, wrap up our show pretty soon and just kind of recap and highlight some of the important parts about what it means to really claim this God-given mission-driven brand that God gave us. So please stay tuned. This is your host, Gina, with your Business with Faith, and we are live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Abuse happens every moment of every day. According to national statistics in the United States, every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted, and every 10 minutes, a report of child abuse is made. Those currently struggling with abuse, or if you know someone who has been the victim of abuse, you are not alone. Whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual, no, there is hope, there is help, there is healing. Author Tammy Hall has written a book from her own account of abuse called Journey of Courage that can guide you through your own personal journey of healing. Stop struggling through life. It's your story. It's your healing. And it can begin with the first turn of the page. Visit www.journeyofcourage.com to begin your path to becoming the person you were ultimately created to be. Healed. Hopeful. Happy. Horses, mystical, present, past, and future, all in one. Wild, free, domestic, and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. Hi, everybody. This is your host, Gina, with your Business with Faith, and we are live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Uh, so we had been talking about branding and what it really means to take action and to claim, live out that God-given mission-driven brand and identity and what it means to come to life, to have joy in what we're doing, enjoy the process, get rid of those limiting beliefs and barriers that are holding us back and change our way of thinking and believe in God's plan for us, that he wants us to prosper and succeed because he loves us. And that's how we bring faith to our business because of who we are, the way we treat others and the way we treat ourselves and how we're patient with ourselves and really believing and surrendering in God's plan and his agenda and knowing that he sends people to us because it helps bring to life his plan for everybody, not just us. And we're all connected. We know that, right? We're all brothers and sisters. So really, God wants us to succeed. He wants all of us to prosper, prosper rather and be happy. So 
why wouldn't he help you too? You know, he's given us gifts. He's equipped you with talents and strengths and your own wow factor. I mean, just got to bring it to life. We got to think about what it is. Sometimes it's more evident for others and that's okay. And it's important to find someone to really help you think about that or at least allow yourself the space and place and the time to do it. Because often we don't do that because of our old limiting belief system that we're thinking too highly of ourselves or we're bragging about ourselves when really we're meant to share our gifts. We are not meant to hoard them. So um, really, that's the end of the five part series of that particular um, section we've been talking about. I really hope you've enjoyed your journey to finding those powerful paths to freedom, peace and profits. I really hope you've gained some new and fresh perspective on how your value and gifts play a big role in your business. I also hope you've discovered how God has created this unique design for you to have abundance and share it with the world and not deny your audience, your gifts and your talents and the fact that you are there for them in service, almost like you're calling that you're there to help solve their problem. And so I would definitely invite you guys to visit my website at www.findinggodspeace.com. And I also have another website to throw at you. I've done it before. It's www.peacejoyandyoucoaching.com. And that's where you can actually find the ebook that I have on the faith-based profits, the five powerful pathways to stop the struggle, right? And jumpstart your success by infusing faith into every area of your business. And I know I mentioned that early in the beginning. So hopefully you guys have been able to use it and follow along. There's lots of place for notes. This is kind of that place where you can dig deep and think about, you know, who you are and your where you want to go, how to create a smart plan. Think about, you know, finding a mastermind. So I love this ebook or report because um, it really kind of covers a whole lot of things. Um, I'll put this um, on all my media platforms, too, to get you guys to take a look at it again. Um, my Facebook group is Women of Faith Business Owners. Um, and I also have that on LinkedIn. You can look for that women of faith business owners. I invite you to uh, join us. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's funny. When I first started, it was hard to get people on there and all of a sudden, uh, God is just sending them left and right. It's uh, amazing how that happens. Talk about, um, you know, manifesting God's plan and bringing people to us. So I uh, would ask you guys, like I said, to visit those websites so you can download that ebook for yourself. And, um, you know, just really excited about the direction that we're going with this show. Uh, just having wonderful guests come and really share their faith story and who they are and how they're living the best version of themselves. So excited for you to hear about Russ's story, Elle's story. Oh my gosh, they're just amazing, uh, especially the power of Elle and what she's gone through and where she is now. And Russ, his attitude of gratitude is over. Overwhelming. I love it. I can't wait to share it. That's coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to ask you guys to stay tuned with us with the uh, Brave Bold Media. And uh, I am your host, Gina, with your Business with Faith, live on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. This has been Your Business with Faith with your host, Gina Sanisardo. Listen each week as Gina empowers you to tap into your God-given gifts, allowing you and your business to find inner peace and success on Gina Sanisardo's Your Business with Faith. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.